So today I want to show you my bug out bag. I hope you guys agree that this bag has the basics, the essentials, and also give you a side of a bug out bag that you may not have seen before and that's the fin side. I look forward to sharing a female perspective in bug out bags. Now this bag is designed to cater to my personal needs and since I am a female, um, I do have a lot of items that are tailoring you know, the needs around being a female and hygienic needs. So maybe this will give you an idea on how to improve the bug out bags or start a bug out bag for the women who you love in your life. So without further ado, let's get started. On the outside here, I just have a couple of carabiners and a clip for my solar charger to hang from the outside of the pack. Okay, so <laughs> lots of stuff in here. So I normally just lay my stuff out for you guys, but I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you as it's laid out in the packs. In here, I have essential items. I used to have a larger one, um, like a big military compass, but it was heavy, so I just need something that's going to work, and this is it. And here I have all of my documents, like my paperwork, copy of my IDs. Of my, I have everything from my pet's microchipping to their, um, to their vaccines and all of that good stuff is all in here. You just never know when you're going to need that. So I keep that and that's actually just waterproofed. And what's also waterproof is these maps that I have right here. They're both waterproof. This is more of a recreation map so that maybe I can know where to acquire supplies or maybe stay away from. <laughs> you never know what you're gonna come around here. So, you know. And here, I I love this map, guys. I got it like for like 60 cents. <laughs> um, but it's so nice and like laminated. And it's like very detailed. I really like it. Um, but you can, you know, write on it and then just wipe it down. Um, so I like that. So it's pretty cool. Now I just have this one as a backup just because I do just because I do want to make sure to have a larger Bay Area map. So this is it. And for navigation, I also carry these um motorola t465 all of my family has these in their bags and we're about a mile apart um so we can use these just in case communication is down and um i do carry an extra set of batteries for this but it's rechargeable off of my solar uh, charger so this is pretty cool i like that and speaking of solar, this is my solar charger. It is already fully charged. You can charge it off the wall um, and then it recharges all by itself, you know, when you're walking. And it does have a light, so I like that. And it does have a small compass in the back, so it has a small backup and its own cord to charge the, to charge the device and also for an output to charge my own device. And here I have the headset for the T465 radio, so I just do that in there. And a CC4 whetstone um, to sharpen my knife with. I do have one pen here. And I have this uh, right in the rain notebook. And in here, I actually carry another solar charger and hand crank radio. I freaking love this little thing. Um, it's just to get information or maybe if you could listen to some music or something, you know, just for whatever. It's just good to have, get information. I like the fact that it's solar. It will charge my devices as well. And it's hand crank, so it'll work even if you're not in the sun or anything and you can also charge your devices through the hand crank so that's pretty nifty and in here i carry these um binoculars they're just like a set i got from walmart but they work really well actually i was surprised on to the other pouch over here i just have a few tampons in there um just for you know essentials 
And I have a bar of soap with a couple of Ziploc bags and a comb, a couple of hair ties, and some Q-tips. Over here is my Quit Wet Wipes. I actually ditched the toilet paper, guys, because it was really bulky, and even though this is also bulky, I like the fact that you know exactly how many wipes you have. I know how many it takes to get myself clean. With toilet paper, you just use a whole wad, so it's just, it's just simpler, and it also keeps you much cleaner. So I like to carry these. So I no longer carry the TP. And here, they're all sealed up um, in these Mylar pouch bag, um, but it is my reusable pads. Now, I do have a couple tampons, but I kind of been trying to switch off of those um, to something that's a little bit more um, earth friendly and reusable. These are reusable pads and um, it's brand new. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> so basically, it is um, something to use with these inserts when your wife or your girlfriend's on a period or whatever. And so you can just use this and it goes around your underwear and it snaps in place. And then, you know, when you're done with it, you wash it so it is reusable. Um, it is definitely a lifesaver. I'd rather have something that's multi-use than just, you know, a single use. So I do carry these around. This is just for like a demo for you guys. But they're um, but they're all sealed up in these um, in this little pouch so that they don't get wet and they stay, you know, brand new and clean. And here I just also carry like a washcloth. And I also do have some Summer's Eve Femme Soap in here. And I mean, you just want to stay, you know, clean. It. And that's actually all I have in this pouch, guys. So let's move on. And this side pouch is just the things that I want, like, quickly accessible. This is my One Tigress poncho. It also doubles as a tarp for me. So I can also use this as shelter. It comes with the um, the clamps and everything on the side. Um, so it's easy, easy to set up. And I did actually switch just to this. I did carry a tarp before, but I found that my bag was getting heavy and I just realized that this can also be used as a tarp, so I switched it out and, you know, just makes less bulk and less waste and takes up less space. Here I have my through night headlamp, which I love. I have two of these. This is brand new. I do have a trawl. You can dig a hole and, you know, start a fire, you know, block, block the flames and also use it if you got to use, if you got to use the bathroom, dig a cat hole. Ah. <laughs> and in here I just have like a Stanley multi-tool, but this is, you know, very functional and just has all the basics. I think I'm not all fancy like you guys with the lettermans and all that. And here I have a couple of ammo boxes, so that's 50 rounds there and in here I just have a couple of clips for my Glock I also carry a couple mechanics gloves in here uh, I think that's it <laughs> so I mean it's starting to pile up guys and in the top I have a couple of batteries which I only keep for my Motorola radio as a backup but Otherwise, I don't really require batteries for anything. And this is just the wall charger. And here is actually the charger that comes with the through night headlamp. And it also serves to recharge my devices as well through my solar charger. So that's pretty nifty. And here I do have a permanent marker with a little bit of duct tape. And here I also have a very small sewing kit 
and a few needles and a few pins and just what you need basic and this is a little bit of fishing line in case I need something a little thicker than this thread and here I have ah, I might not take no it's fine <laughs> um, here I have just like a dust mask and it is just good for fires and stuff you know debris that kind of thing it's brand new um, over here we have lots of fires lots of earthquakes so lots of dust and lots of smoke and here I just have like a set of goggles um, just basics for protecting your eyes from debris and just protecting your eyes in general and that's it in there on this side is actually all the food well not all of it but most of the stuff that's like breakable and kind of you know fragile like my crackers I've been having an issue trying to keep these um, from breaking but honestly I don't really care if they break so much but I would like you know most of them to stay intact so I have three packs of crackers I know you're probably wondering why do I have so much but um, you'll see in a minute and I also and I also have this protein bar um, that I can have with 20 grams of protein pretty good to eat on the go if I can't stop and eat and if I need to eat I have the spork which I actually love I use the other ones it actually came with a few so I use them if I use a few of them and I like them and here we just have a few GIF to go cups and here I just wrote out like the best by day and the calories and how much protein is in this little container so I don't have to guess and that's why I have the crackers and that's just for like you know a lunchtime stop snack and this also is the chocolate silk gif um, to go with that as well and in here I have a little mini self-made <laughs> coffee pouch I have two servings in here so I have coffee a must for me I don't know about you guys but it's a must for me and I also have a um, ferro rod here to start a fire along with some wet fire tabs and some some Vaseline coated cotton balls just for fire starting and here I have um, some waterproof matches with some more duct tape oh um, that's it so that's it in here. I don't keep a lot because I didn't want to crush the crackers, but it's just like basic food utensils, that kind of thing. Harley, that's enough. <laughs> she gets mad when I tell her to stop. She's so, oh my God. Anyway, <laughs> let's move on. I also keep a jacket in the shove it pouch here. Um, it's just like this face dust cover and now this is a bidet adapter if you don't know what this is um, it's very well known in other countries to use after you use the bathroom um, just to cleanse yourself and this is a small adapter for like a coke bottle just sort of like a smart water bottle and I also carry this collapsible canteen and this just serves as a good way to clean ourselves off after using the restroom, you know, making sure we stay clean. And also for women, this is important too because it helps cleanse us. If we were on our periods um, with the Fem Soap, this is a lifesaver. So this is a must have. I'll put the link in the description in the bottom. It's super light and like super light. I think it's like an ounce, not even. And in this pocket, I also have the SAS Survival Guide. And I keep it in my pocket just so I always have it on me. Um, no matter what happens, it's just there. I actually take it out of the jacket pocket if I'm not wearing it. And I just, you know, put it in my pants pocket. So, always have that on me. And I actually also have the app on my phone. But it's always still good to have it as a hard copy. All right, now we're getting to the good stuff, guys. 
All right, here we are. And let's finish off the food. Here I have a little bit of cinnamon tea. The sugar and cinnamon tea is just already prepped. I have some creamer, which I keep separately with the information, a Best Buy date, and these coffee pouches also um, are two servings. This one, even though they're different sizes, they're just different sizes, but they're two servings. And there's another, so <laughs> clearly I'm covered with the coffee. <laughs> Hey, some of you guys know coffee is essential, okay? <laughs> Don't judge me. But here I do have some daily multivitamins. So it's I think it's like eight. And here I have a life straw. Now this I like. However, I bought it before I came across the Sawyer Mini you guys suggested in the past. So um, I'm just going to use this for budgeting reasons, I'm not gonna buy another one when I have a brand new life straw. So I will get that eventually. I do want the Sawyer Mini. Um, however, this is also very useful, so I have it. So many compartments here. Here I have some planters trail mix. It's 170 calories in six ounces. But it comes with five servings, so that's what Oh no, do the math guys. <laughs> Over 850 calories, I think. <laughs> Just in this six ounce bag. So I feel like this is well worth its weight and um, it's just easy to snack on the go. And here is another Jif to go cup for the crackers. And I have a couple of Spam singles. I don't normally eat a lot of Spam, but when I'm camping, there's like, I don't know, I just like it fried on the fire. <laughs> so I brought a few of those. So I have three here. And in this pouch itself, I have a five ounce pouch of salmon. So that is actually two servings there. And more Spam. <laughs> Um, so I want to say there's four, four spam in there and here is some broccoli rice that's ready in seven minutes. It's about two servings in, you know, in calorie wise it, for me, what I need, it's about two servings and I would just maybe like put some of that with it and the pouch and the five ounce salmon, you know, has tons of fat. It's easy to prep. I already have actually like the mayo pack attached to it there. So I have um, something to mix it with and the mustard and that good stuff. Um, so that is why, that is why I had all of the crackers guys, because that's going to come in handy with this too. I'm sure you're starting to see a pattern now that I've actually started really to switch over to food that doesn't need a lot of prep. Um, because before, because before I used to carry like all this stuff for breakfast and all, you know, like these things, like I said, this is not camping <laughs> you are in a bug out scenario so it is um it's the less work and prep you have to do the better so this is easy to eat and this is easy to prep and eat it right out of the pouch you don't even need a container so with this pack right here alone i have two days easy worth of food in here um i could probably stretch it a little more but you know, on the safe side, this is two days worth of food and just in this little pouch for me, along with, of course, the planters and the more peanut butter. But I do have another one um, with the same exact items. Um, I like salmon, guys. I don't get tired of salmon. I like tuna, too, but salmon is has a little bit more fatty and omega-3s and all the things that you like and want in your body, um, especially when you're, you know, doing such vigorous and strenuous walking and, you know, hiking over long distances. I could probably live off a week off of this food and be all right. 
and I do have some honey roasted peanuts, lots of peanuts, lots of things with protein you're noticing, I'm sure. 160 calories per one ounce serving. And this has four servings in the container, so times that times four. That's pretty good, guys. So you're getting a lot, a lot of protein, six grams of protein, a lot of... Yeah, you're getting a lot of protein, and just off of this little bag that is four ounces. Can't beat that. And then here I have the survival tabs that um, I have just in case. And these would be good if I wanted to stretch out the food to a longer period of time. This is definitely going to come in handy. I think this is like two days worth of survival tabs. So I could just use those to stretch that out and, you know, ration that with the tabs. And I probably could go at least a week with all this stuff. Okay, so if you haven't seen my IFAC video... This is the IFAC Mini. No, <laughs> no, it's not Mini, actually. It's kind of like the same size. I feel like this one is very similar to um, the IFAC video, so check it out if you want to um, know what's inside. But this is a whole system rip-away first aid kit. Now, I put these straps that connect to my belt, so I'll just have this on my belt and my hip. It is not going to be in the bag forever. I actually will have this on me instead. So that's going to take some weight off of the bag itself. And here I have my Pathfinder Canteen in its little pouch. Um, I love this, you guys. There's water in here right now. I want to say it's, little, it's over a liter. Um, and it also comes with its own little stove like the whole the whole thing is a stove system which i love if you haven't seen these they are amazing they just all clamp together so the clamp is actually your cup handle which is pretty cool i like that a lot and on the inside it actually comes with measurements so you know how much you're putting into your food which is awesome and this is a small stove that you would use. You can put wood or maybe you, if you want to like put some fire tabs under there, you could. You can use that to boil water. Literally just boil it with your cup on it and then, you know, pour it into your canteen if you were just boiling water or whatever you needed. But this is pretty cool because it all collapses together and it is all one system and I freaking love it. And like I said, I have had water in here for about a month before, and, and it does not have any metal taste, which is awesome. And in here, there's just the lid to the cup, so if you need to cook anything, you got a little lid to assist you there. And on the side of these, <laughs> look guys, it's a baby mac. <laughs> I had a baby. This is the only baby I would ever have, probably. <laughs> and I do carry these um, on the side of the canteen. And so, I mean, essentials, right? Water and bullets? <laughs> yeah, I think so. And I actually carry two of these. Um, you put two of these, and you still don't get a regular mag. Like, what the hell? <laughs> What the hell am I supposed to do with this? I mean, I honestly, <laughs> honestly, I think they're super cute for like your kid's toy gun. <laughs> I'm just saying like, what the hell is this? And here I have my sleeping bag. This is the Nautilus from Snuck Pack. And it is actually very light. I switched over to this from the Snug Pack Navigator um, sleeping bag because it was super heavy. This is a little bit lighter, um, even though it's still kind of, you know, I think it's like three pounds. I don't know how heavy it is, um, but I could probably, I could probably go a little lighter with this, but I like it and you know, it goes. So, I mean, sacrifices. And along with the sleeping system in here, I have my climate 
Static V. This is the air mat that I bought for myself. I had actually bought the 30 inch because I am a bigger girl. But this actually worked just fine. The other one was too big. This is a smaller, you know, compact um, package. And the other one's small too, but it's not as small as this. And it weighs a little more and it's a little wider. It is a little, also a little thicker, but this was perfect. I didn't really need all of that. I sent it back. I got this one instead. I'm very happy with it. I just hope it doesn't have a hole when I need it. <laughs> That's the only thing about having these though, you know, um, maybe later if it pops on me, I'm going to invest in a pad instead because these are nice, but as soon as you get a hole in them, they're shot to shit, so you can't really use them. <laughs> so yeah, that is going to be something that I will switch out later if need be. And here I have a snug pack dry bag um, to keep all my clothes in. Let me go ahead and show you just basics I keep in here so I actually have everything rolled inside of a beanie <laughs> um, so the beanie is gonna come in very useful if I'm cold but um, it's it's actually a double-sided beanie so you can either use it as black or you can use it as camo which I thought was pretty cool it's reversible and here I have a long sleeve shirt for sleeping or when it's cold to layer. This is just a tank top to put on if it's hot or I also like to layer um, my t-shirt so I have that. I have an extra sports bra and I have two sets of underwear in there and two spare pairs of wool socks in here so that is what i keep um for all the clothing i don't carry jeans i don't carry you know a lot of stuff i just i have my jacket for the outer shell and this to layer if i needed to and of course whatever clothing i'm wearing when the event actually happens so you know you always want to have one that you're wearing, one that you're drying because you just washed, and then, you know, one that's clean, ready for you to wear the next day. So I like to keep three pairs of everything, um, even though I'm already wearing one pair. And this also has... In here, I have a very small microfiber towel. It is super lightweight. It doesn't weigh very much, and I freak. Oh my god! You guys hear the sirens? Has the shit hit the fan? Oh no! It's just another day in Oakland. <laughs> So yeah, <laughs> back to this. This is a microfiber towel. Um, and it is very lightweight. It dries super fast. Just don't drop it on the floor because that shit picks up everything. So don't drop it on the floor if you get one. But um, it is definitely a good thing to have because when you get wet and you, you know, you need to get dry somehow. And I'm not going to use my clean dry clothes. So this is nice. It dries like within a few minutes. Honestly, it's so nice, super lightweight and very useful. And I'm going to provide links to all of these items that I've bought off Amazon or through other places. Um, so you guys know where to get them if you want to look into these products. Like this one. <laughs> this one is my K-Bar United States Marine Corps knife. This is brand new. I have another one. This one it is super sturdy. I love it. I know. This is... I don't know. I... It's just badass. Don't tell me this knife is not badass because it fucking is. I'm just saying. Um, I love the grip, the wood. I mean, all of it. It's just such a stable blade, like super nice. Um, I actually got this recommended by one of my friends in the Marines. And for real, <laughs> they know what they're talking about. And I do have the leather sheath <laughs> to go to this. So um, later, I'll probably switch it out. But And I like this one, too, to strap on the outside of the bag. But um, I'm not sure. What do you guys think? Should I keep it in the black or should I put it in the leather sheath? Let me know what you think in the comments. And the only thing I have left in here is 
a spool with my paracord and the lighter that it comes with so it keeps everything nice and neat even though the spool is lightweight heavy or I think it's just the way it's bundled that feels heavy um but I don't know I, I just like the fact that it stays all compact and together so I'm not sure it's a trade-off so what do you guys think should I lose the spool should I keep the spool what do you think and in here I have some cleaner and some lube just to clean all of my goodies and a cleaning kit simple to have very simple to use I have the adapters in the sizes for um, my barrels so I do keep this because like I said I'm in California most likely there will be an earthquake here and I would need to stay out a little bit longer term so I want to make sure I'm prepped and in here there is some there's a hundred rounds for my nine mil and yes this is just 120 rounds um like I said this is not an essential thing but I mean I do plan if I have to bug out and it's crazy out there I live in the smack middle of East Oakland so if you think <laughs> you may not have to shoot your way out of here you got something else coming <laughs> this is gonna be an essential what do you think let me know in the comments and in here I also carry my Laplander handsaw and it is actually awesome because it's super light so I actually thought about getting rid of this and just taking it out but it's not very heavy it's just a little over a pound or two and but I didn't think I would use it as much like honestly I'm not going to be sitting there cutting down trees like I know <laughs> I know some of y'all you know get down like that but I'm just gonna you know most likely go around and you know pick up tree limbs on the side of the road and just burn those because this is you know that takes up energy cutting down trees takes up energy and I ain't got all that <laughs> so I do have this what do you think guys should I get rid of it keep toss or keep what do you think in the top pouch, I have this Survival Frog Tac Vivi. Um, this is an extra because I do have a sleeping blanket in my first aid kit. However, I did want to have something that was very bright and colorful just in case I needed it for signaling or um, whatever. But this also, of course, is a Vivi <laughs> for if you're fucking freezing. But... Um, this would become this would be very helpful to you know put out as an SOS or put a message on it bright and orange you know so it's very visible you it's clearly you know seen from above or from 